Hi folks, I hope this video is finding you well, and I ask you, is it murder or self-slaughter that we are engaged in, I mean really, a healthy organism does not attack itself, so I ask you straight up, are they killing us with harmful products, medicine foul, and doctrine detrimental on accident, or are we committing slow suicide by purchasing the only damaging widgets on the shelf, ingesting their medicines, while believing their prepared ill doctrinal fester, well either way we're kinda stuck, as theirs is the only speakeasy in town. My friends I told a gentleman on the phone the other day, who was trolling for a Medicare account to maintain, monitor or blah blah blah, well I informed the guy that I don't qualify for healthcare in the United States, Medicare, or otherwise, so we played question and answer, like all around the mulberry bush the insurance man chased the cripple, and I asked him, if I qualified this moment, for medical coverage, would I not be receiving treatment for five diseases, to include fourth stage cancer and fourth stage COPD, wouldn't you think I'd have medical care, with appropriate treatments accompanying, i.e., doctors, inhalers, cancer medicine, oxygen, etc., and he said yes, and then he asked, so you're telling me that you have these illnesses and you are not receiving care, how can that be, this is the United States of America, and I said exactly. I told him to ask the AMA if a doctor can stop all medication on a dime, and give the cripple 9 cents change and his walking papers because of politics, and they'll say yes, I told him I'll wait, and he left. Side note, no mask, no pork up in the pen. I gotta tell you folks, unless one is standing in a bear trap having 375 pounds of crush, they cannot begin to tell you what it feels like, just as one without end-stage chronic obstructive pulmonary disease cannot tell another what it feels like to lose 2 gallons of lung tissue and fluid a month, by convulsion, unless they have that licensed lung letting condition, and 24 gallons a year, from a licensed infection, comes out of my lungs, because I went to where the flavor is, folks I went to Marlboro country, making my plans as I listened, yea one day I'll be on that quarter horse or mustang in a yellow slicker, with a lasso taking care of cowboy business, and I ended up there, cause they told me to, from a black and white three channel TV, when I was a mere child just this side of the womb, and when I showed up around their night fires, they killed me there, with filter, flavor, pack or box, and just maybe my wake and funeral will catch up to this deposing Haggard's infirmed estate. Before Jesus returns. But folks in all honesty, I do believe that I'm going to see the second coming of Jesus the mighty Christ did without sleeping with my fathers, I really do. My so beloved familiars here, cigarettes began being sold in 1868, under governmental stewardship known to the learned as the process and paperwork needed for governmental licensed pirate profiteering, and 100 years later they put a warning on the package, it said may cause lung cancer. For those of you that know me, you know that I am a stickler for what is right, and I stress that those that lead you are liars, and I go as far as to say that they come from a kennel of liars, bow wow, and to say, may cause lung cancer, knowing full well it does, that makes them not only liars, but murderers. Side note, if we can stop a kidnapper having our infant daughter under his arm, headed for the window, then why can't we stop the guy with my suffered lungs under his arm? This just in, we have power of attorney that was given to us, extended from the throne of our Father God Almighty Yahweh, and for those who need a little something something in the way of proof, folks let's take Paul's hesitation for a moment, as he stuttered in Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God, the powers that be are ordained of God. Woe horse, who here thinks that means Satan incorporated, show of hands, who thinks Paul was talking about Emperor Claudius or the chieftain Biden. My friends powers that be is where we shall build a memorial as for present reflection and future mention, the powers are of God, folks are we not of God, making us his powers, because as we know we are of God, yea we are his exhalations in earth, and are the powers that Paul was hinting to, but folks while venturing that avenue of concern, we must understand, 
Paul too was in the physical, and feared the king, in a way, and he should have said it more clearly, but then again, if it was crystal clear, would I need to be studying it, I say negatory on that, it was made unclear for a reason, so that there could be two sides, for as we know, there is no middle ground when eternity is on the table, Amen. What are the two sides you ask? In a nutshell, for those who think God is telling you to listen to the law of one who instigates abortion and licenses the same, well that is just not true, as this is what our father thinks about their so-called law, and the same disciple Paul who wrote that earlier confusion conflicting, wrote this to his understudy Timothy, in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 9. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers. My friends Jesus the Christ said this, in Luke chapter 9 and verse 60. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God folks, well first and foremost, being and day children of God, we know that the kingdom of God is, and because the book says it is within and without us, we know our kingdom has a gospel as every kingdom does, being a message at the gate, and gospel, being a message, in the Latin is evangelium, which means a good or joyful message, and I ask you, what is our message, from whence is it arrived, and to whom is it directed, and I can hear it now, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whoa horse, if I were lost I wouldn't rely on that verse for salvation, as the lost don't believe, and that verse says, that whosoever believeth, not just those that could repeat his name. Be it known and remembered, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Folks there are two choices, God, or man, so I ask you, are you led by God, or by man? Side note, if Jesus was against their religion and rule, which he was, then how can we be for it, being of our Father, folks we can't, Jesus was against them then, just as we are against their criminality today, folks they are killing us. In closing folks, how does it feel to die? There is certain dizziness accompanying these days, with optical migraines, and even turning over in bed I feel like I'm about to fall down, and a feeling like everything is moving but me, like it's all spinning around me, but I remain stationary. Mornings are difficult, as I go from horizontal to vertical the dizziness recommences, and I grab the air around me as to get a hold of it to help hold me up, and I say whoa, out loud. How does it feel to die? It hurts my heart more than it does my physical station and estate, but folks as long as I am in the warmth of my father's love, stay and counsel sound, I'd die 1000 deaths just like this one, if I could stop just one tear, or to save my son and grandson, or yours for that matter, from their torture, and with that, am I bitter, nay, just educated, studied and finally learned, and on that note, be well, take care, and I thank you so much for listening my friends.